Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. And in today's video, we're going to give you an introduction on the Razzle Dazzle shearing method for Angora rabbits. That's the method that over years of owning Angora rabbits that I developed to be able to shear your Angora rabbit safely with confidence to get the most amount of wool off your rabbit for the least amount of money and for the least amount of stress for both you and your rabbit. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell if you haven't already to our channel because this is the channel that has everything to do with Angora rabbits and we release videos every Monday and Saturday that way you get notified when a new video is released. So the introduction to the razzle dazzle shearing method it starts with a goal and when we think about shearing our rabbits we have to think about what is the number one goal when we're shearing our rabbits. This is the number one goal. It's to get the wool off the rabbit. That's what shearing is. It's not about how fast you can shear, and it's not about how, how beautiful or even does your rabbit look afterwards. It's really about um, understanding how to shear your Angora rabbit so that the wool comes off, so that your stress is low, so that the bunny's stress is low. It's a enjoyable, calm experience for everybody involved. Nobody gets hurt and the amount of wool that's usable is, is right where you want it to be the most possible. So your rabbit is, when we approach this, we think about it like this, your rabbit is your fiber friend, and we wanna keep that friendship with our rabbits. We wanna have a good relationship with our rabbits. We don't want our rabbit to be biting us, scratching us, or aggressive to us, because that signifies uh, the rabbit the rabbit isn't doing well. The rabbit is not enjoying this process and it doesn't know what to expect. And so the razzle dazzle shearing method is a method that reduces in the, all the negative behaviors and teaches that rabbit, this is what to expect and it's gonna be more than okay. So there's three parts to the actual rabbit shearing. So this is the method that I developed and I didn't, uh, I didn't like, I wasn't born being a natural rabbit um, shearer. That's not something that was, uh, <laughs> that's not something that I was given. And so it took time and it took effort and it took understanding and a lot of learning, a lot of figuring things out along the way to be able to shear a rabbit and in that process. I kept fine tuning it and I kept improving it and I kept wanting better. I wanted better for my rabbit. I wanted better for myself. I wanted better wool that I can sell to my customers. I wanted all of it to be better. I wanted to constantly improve and constantly, I wanted it to be the best that it could be. And I'm still always looking for that. I'm still always making sure how can I make this better for the rabbit? How can I make this better for me? How can I make this better for the wool? that gets produced. And so in the end, I, I ended up with this, <laughs> with this method and there's three main parts to the shearing method. So it looks like this. The first circle is you. So you use this method to reduce all of your fears and to increase your confidence and to increase your knowledge of shearing Angora rabbits. That's, one of the things that this method, it breaks it down and it says, listen, you know, there's three parts of shearing a rabbit. Let's address these one by one because there's different problems that come with each of the three parts of these. And let's reduce the problems, but let's also increase what we want. And we break it down into uh, you as one part. The second part, Is the rabbit. So there is no Angora rabbit shearing without a Angora rabbit, an Angora rabbit. 
you want to use this method to reduce the stress that the rabbit has and you want to reduce any potential difficult behaviors such as the biting or the scratching or the fighting or the kicking or whatever might be happening you know your rabbit is is part of the entire sharing method so we want to reduce those negative behaviors and we also want to reduce the stress that your rabbit may feel while really increasing your rabbit's understanding of what to expect and the expectations of what's going to happen when my human friend comes and has their scissors and starts taking the wool off. We want this too to have the most amount of usable wool that comes off your rabbit. So when we go through the actual shearing method, we explain the parts of this and how do you actually get to um, improving these things? How do you actually do the things that we are talking about? So that's explained in there for the, the second part. And then the third part is the environment. Because shearing takes place somewhere. Shearing takes place somewhere. You're there. Your rabbit's there. And so where your shearing takes place and all the different details of your environment, it matters to how the whole shearing goes with your rabbit. And we, we go into and demonstrate, if you take the actual video course, but we demonstrate and show and go into and explain why does this even matter? Why, do, why does the environment matter to how the shearing goes? How does the environment matter to reducing the stress of you and reducing the stress of the rabbit? Because all of these things are connected. These, these things, which we're, they're all separate, but when you come together and you actually start a shearing of a rabbit, they connect together. And that's where the razzle-dazzle shearing method is. It's right in the center. That nice, <laughs> let's make that heart nicer. Right in the center here. When everything comes together, that's where the shearing method is. And when we think about shearing our rabbits, we if you have a business, you also think that time is money. And so... The, um, the shearing has to uh, be a manageable process if you are running a business as well. So we want to produce as much uh, wool as safely and stress-free as possible. So this is the method. We go through all the details to accomplish the goal in the best way possible. The easiest possible way to go through this with the, the least amount of stress is just um, picking up your copy of the method, which is available in paperback form and in ebook form, ebook e form. So it's uh, paperback and ebook form available. It's just on Amazon. Um, and you can pick up your copy, and it literally goes through and explains everything in a low pressure situation. And you can, you, you can read about all the holds that we use and you can practice them and you can literally go through step by step on your own time, in your own, the comfort of wherever you feel most comfortable. You can go through this and start applying these things right away. So sharing your rabbit doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be time consuming. And it really doesn't have to be stressful. And that's the goal of using this method is to make it better for you and to make it better for your rabbit and to really just use the best practice, use the best practices of Angora rabbit shearing so that you can remain friends with your rabbit and they can still be your little fiber friend. Thanks for watching.